Grasshoppers. Welcome to another episode of Quality Time with Clive. Today we're going to take a look at Crystal again, and specifically we're going to focus on the last page, the mixer page. So here I'm starting with a simple square wave. And uh, let's take a look at the mixer. And one of the first things I'll take a look at is just the organization of everything. We obviously have a pre-fade level for each oscillator. And then over here on the right, we have an output, which would be similar to what we would think of as a post-fade. Each oscillator or each voice has a pan level, and we can move it to the left or to the right or keep it in the center. Obviously, keep your eye on this window right here. And then we can send our signal to four different delays. Those delays are controlled down here as well as this area right here. Again, a volume control for the delay and a panning control for the four delays. The last option on this page is the splitter send right here. And the splitter send also has three controls down here. We'll get to the splitter send later on, but let's just take a look at how to use our delays. So I have my sound here. And to get a nice little delay going on, I'm just going to make the, the sound nice and short so you can hear that. I'm going to send a signal to just the first delay. We're not going to use all four for right now. Once you figure out how to use one delay, you can use that for all four delays. So I'm going to go ahead and send a very strong signal to the first delay. I'm going to turn on my sync, and I'm going to look in this window right here. I'm just going to set it to eighth note. And right now, you can hear that right away. We're getting a delay of an eighth note after the fact. I can make it softer, this, the delay softer. I can increase the output, actually the pre-fade. And I can also increase the feedback. So uh, of the delay, how many of those iterations will we hear? And you can also change the filter type. So right now it's on the resonant low pass. If you wanted to go high pass, we're not hearing anything. I got to move the filter frequency down. And obviously here now we'd just be allowing just the high frequencies to pass through. And the Q is again the resonance, the cutoff points of your filter frequency. And that is one very simple way of using delay. Now. There are also options in here if you just wanted to set up something really quickly. There are presets. So for instance, I can use delay one to ping pong. And I get So with the ping pong setting, I actually have this going on. What I need is if I am using the second delay though, I would need to make sure that I'm sending a signal from my oscillator from my voice one over. And we'll notice also that here the delay one has the signal, the delay signal is sent all the way to the left channel. The delay signal on channel in delay two is sent all the way to the right channel. And then of course we can play with the feedback of these. And you can also change the delay times differently from delay one to delay two. So delay one is set to, let's set it to, there we go. And also, yeah, be very careful with the extreme feedback because you could overload your crystal synthesizer, as you can hear right now. So the splitter is actually a frequency band splitter, so it divides the signal into four different regions. And we set those regions down here. The reason why there are only three faders or sliders is because you're setting the point in which you differentiate between the first band, the first frequency band, and the second frequency band, and here between the second and third frequency band, and here between the third and fourth frequency band. So I'm, uh, right now this is set to, again, we're looking over here, 50 hertz for the first, uh, first and second band, 
Let's set, set that one to 610. And let's bring this one down a bit to maybe like 2000 or something. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my splitter sense. All right, so for right now, I'm just keeping the splits uh, centered with a pan, and I've also increased the output here of it so it's a little bit more obvious for this demonstration. But we're only again using only voice one. I have the splitter send set, and I'm gonna play my sequence, and I'm gonna slowly pull up the split one, which would be that lower frequency, anything below 330 hertz. Here we go. Let's listen to the second one. Again, this is now cutting off anything between 330 and 2000. And the third split, anything between 3000, I guess I moved it, 2000 and 4500. And now here, the last, anything above 45. And of course, these splits can all be sent to the different delays so that you can have different frequencies being delayed or uh, affected at different times. So you can really go in there with your scalpel and fine tune your sound. So that right there is the mixing window hopefully in one fell swoop for you. I know it looks like a lot of sliders, but don't be discouraged, just give it a try. Always start with something simple first and build your way up.